Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna talk about the X-Vive U4 in-ear monitor wireless system. And I love exploring new vocal gear. You guys know that. I love sharing these things that I find with you, especially when it comes to in-ear monitor units. They are very, very expensive if you want something reliable and top of the line. So it took a little bit of time for me to get to know this unit. I really wanted to try it out in a less controlled environment so I could give this a very honest and fair review. So so I took this to the video shoot for the cover I did with Cole Rowland, the Every Time We Touch video, and that's over on his channel. Because it kind of mimics live gigs. You walk into the venue, you never really know what to expect with the board, front of house, you never know what to expect in terms of interference. So I wanted to give this as fair of a trial run as I could. So let's open this baby up and see what's inside the box. So when you open the box, it comes in this little package right here and the units on the top and all the accessories and the instruction booklets are underneath. So this unit's really similar to the U3. It's very, very small and very compact. Unlike large rack units, this is it. And it's really surprising to see how small it is considering what it can do. It can literally fit in the palm of your hand. And it's very simple to use. All you do is power on both the receiving end and the transmitting end. And you just set it to the same channel and it functions on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So it's the same frequency that our wireless router functions on. So all you do is plug the transmitting end into the mixer board or your interface or whatever you want to monitor from. And then your wireless pack hooks onto your belt or your pants and you plug in your favorite earbuds into the unit. And just to let you guys know, this does not come with earbuds. So you will have to get them separately. So it has five hours of battery life, which I think is great. I think it's more than you will need. And you can recharge it using the USB cable that they provide. It also comes with a little carrying case, which I think is very handy so that you're not lugging the box around. And it also comes with an adapter, the XLR to quarter inch adapter. And the only thing I can say about this is that when I used it um, at the video shoot, I plugged the transmitting side into the adapter and that little hook didn't really click in. So it's not clicked in. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not a huge deal to me, but I thought I would let you know. Maybe it's my unit, I don't know. So at the video shoot, I had no trouble. I thought everything was very clear. I had no interference with the reception and the mixing board was actually located at the back of the filming space and we were actually filming at the front. So I was probably a good 60 to 70 feet away from the transmitter, which is really, really good news. And I was headbanging a lot. I was rocking out. You can go check out the video if you don't believe me. And this little guy held out. I had it clipped on my pants and it didn't fall. The clip is very, very good. It's very durable. It didn't slip out. So if you're a band that uses a digital mixer on stage with an iPad or tablet, like say the Behringer XR18 unit, this is something that you might experience if you're running U4s. And I wanna specifically thank Perfecto De Castro from YouTube for mentioning this. This unit is a Wi-Fi hog because this could actually interfere with your whole digital mixer unit. There have been many U4 users that have experienced this issue. So my best advice is to go into your router set settings and switch it to a different channel from your U4 unit and you should be good to go. All of that aside, I think it's an absolutely convenient unit. I think it's durable. I think if you're just starting out with in-ear monitors, this is a fantastic unit to get your feet wet because as a vocalist, it did take me some time to get used to in-ear monitors before I started performing with them because it is a little bit of a different experience as opposed to just not using in-ear monitors and using floor monitors. I wanna quickly thank X5 for sponsoring this video and sending me the unit for review. It's been awesome working with them and I think they're a great company. So the U4 absolutely gets a massive, massive thumbs up from me. Definitely LB approved. 
What do you guys think? Do you think this is a really good idea? Do you think it would be awesome? Do you guys use the U4 already? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you're interested in learning about the X5 U3 unit, I have that video. Check out the eye in the sky, wherever that might be, <laughs> and tell me what you think of that. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.